Welcome to the Texas Science of Teaching Reading 293 online test prep course. By the end of this lesson, you will have a firm grasp of the overview and framework for the STR test. Let's begin. This lesson includes five main learning objectives, which include what is the STR test, test breakdown, who needs to take the test, domains and competencies, and scoring. Let's keep going. The STR test stands for Science of Teaching Reading, and it is an exam for people who want to be elementary teachers in Texas. The exam measures a person's knowledge and skills needed to fulfill the requirements of an entry-level educator in Texas public schools. Below, you will find a diagram for the test breakdown. The allotted time for the test is a total of five hours. The exam includes a total of 90 selected response questions and one constructed response question. The exam is administered on the computer and the passing score is 240. This exam costs $136 to take and scores are reported within 28 days of taking the test. So who needs to take the SDR test? Well, all people who want to teach students between the pre-kindergarten to sixth grade must take the science of teaching reading test. The Science of Teaching Reading test is separated into educational domains. Each domain consists of a set of competencies, and each competency includes two major parts. The first is a competency statement, which is the knowledge and skills that an entry-level educator in Texas public schools needs to know and be able to do. The second is a descriptive statement, which is the set of knowledge and skills eligible for testing. Domain 1 focuses on reading pedagogy and accounts for 13% of the total exam. Domain 2 focuses on foundational reading skills and this counts for 43% of the exam. Domain 3 focuses on reading comprehension and accounts for 24% of the exam. And domain 4 is the, excuse me, is the constructed response section that accounts for 20% of the exam. Competencies within domain one are the foundations of science of teaching, reading, and foundations of reading assessment. Domain two's competencies include oral language foundations of reading development, phonological and phonemic awareness, print concepts, and the alphabetic knowledge, phonics, and other word identification skills, syllabication, and morphic analysis skills, excuse me, and morphemic analysis skills, and then reading fluency as well. Domain 3's competencies include vocabulary and comprehension development and the comprehension of both literary and informational texts. Domain 4's competency, which is number 13, includes all of the information from competency 1 through 12 and is where you will find the constructed response question. The two main types of questions in the science of teaching reading exam are selected response questions, which are multiple choice questions, and one constructed response question, which is an essay question. The scoring rubric is, excuse me, rubric is scored based on three components. The first is completion, to which the candidate completes the assignment by responding to each specific task. Number two is application of which the candidate applies the relevant knowledge and skills to the response accurately and effectively. And number three, support, to which the candidate supports the response with the appropriate evidence, examples, and explanations based on the relevant knowledge and skills. Are you preparing for your science of teaching reading test? If so, you've got to come check out our website at www.teacherstr.com. This is the home that will help you pass the Science of Teaching Reading Test. Start by clicking the green button to learn all about what you need to know in order to pass the STR test. When you're ready, scroll down to our test preparation materials. Now let's be honest, are you a type A person who needs to feel 100% prepared before you walk in to take that test? If so, I highly recommend going with our bundle option, which includes not only our online course, but also the official STR study guide. Now, 
If that doesn't sound totally right for you, I also want to show you that we have an online course which is considered to be the fastest way to pass your STR. Now, this is great for visual learners who love to learn through video and want explanation. But if that still doesn't feel right to you and you're more of a reader, go with our online instant download STR study guide. This is an easy to read bullet point list that will give you everything that you need in order to pass the test. Now everyone, scroll down to the bottom of the webpage where you'll find not one, but two free online practice tests to help you ace and prepare for your Science of Teaching Reading 293. Everyone again, go to www.teacherstr.com where we can help you pass your STR test on your next try.